All right, Shalom, Shalom. I don't give all praise. I have now, y'all. Bashem, Mashak, Yahweh, Shah. Bashem, Kakudash. Peace, bless all the blood ones by the tides of the new covenant for the mission of sins. And today I want to show some examples from the things that were written aforetime, showing that the Most High, the Lord Power, is gracious, man. He's gracious and he's merciful. All right, so I want to show some scriptures where he's gracious, merciful, and uh, very, very uh, uh, mercy for, okay? So I want to start off with, uh, these are going to be scriptures from a four time. This is Exodus chapter 33, verse 19. He said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee. I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, man. All right, the Lord uh, is gracious, all right, to those who he deems is worthy, man. And he will show mercy on whom he will show mercy, right? So it's all in the hand of the Lord, man. So the Lord shows he been giving out grace and mercy, all right? Starting with the law all the way into the testimony. The Lord has always been uh, gracious and merciful, man. All right? We have uh, Psalms 116, verse 5. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yeah, our God is merciful. No, our God is all wrath. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yeah, our God is merciful. See that? So the Most High is merciful, man. The Most High has uh, various emotions, just like us, man. The Most High is merciful. He's gracious. He has a wrathful side. He can get angry. All right. The Lord has the power to bless and to curse, man. Showing you what he's balanced, man. All right. Showing you he, he's going to keep it real with you, man. All right. Because he's dealing with balance, man. Right. Because if he was just all grace, then that mean what? He would never uh, judge the wicked, which would make him unrighteous man all right when the scripture says god is angry with the wicked every day so this is proverbs so the lord is balanced man the scriptures tell you he rendered unto man according to his ways proverbs 11 verse 16 a gracious woman hey you get you a gracious beloved man you can get grace from a woman man get you a beloved and receive some grace man all right and that word grace also means favor Right, which a woman can favor you and honor you, man. All right, and be a help to you, man. <clears throat> a gracious woman retaineth honor. A strong man retaineth riches. All right. So, hey, you get to a beloved and receive some grace as well through the Lord, man. This is Psalms chapter 111, verse 4. He hath made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. No, I keep just wrath and destruction. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. See, the Lord has another side to him too, man. All right? He has a, a merciful side as well. All right? Just like the beloveds, man. We got we got uh, tender soft sides, and we also got sides where we could come off as like a damn uh, alashaj on you, man. You'll be thinking the beloved's a Allah Shaja out here, man. <laughs> when the beloved's clock the hell out, man. <laughs> this is why what we try to stay in our positive side, man. All right? Because we, we pushing peace, man. All right? We pushing peace, man, to the beloved's, man. All right? But uh, the Lord says what well, vengeance is of the Lord. So we're pushing peace. We not recompensing no evil on no man. All right, the Lord is the judge, man. All right, this is a uh, Psalms chapter uh, seventy-seven and nine. Have God forgotten to be gracious? See that they asking questions, man. If the Lord forgot to be gracious, no, He didn't forget to be gracious, man. All right, have He in, in have He in anger shut up His tender mercies? See, the Lord is balanced, man. He shows you, uh, you know, good and evil, man. Like Job said, man. You know, you go through uh, positive and negative energies, man. Everybody experiences it, right? We have uh, 
Isaiah 33 and 2. O Lord, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. Be thou their arm. Be thou their arm every morning, our salvation. Also, in a time of trouble. Okay. So that's a, that's a, uh, another scripture, heavy. Asha just brought me some food, so I can blow the one. But uh, let's see what we have. We have Ecclesiastes 10 and 12. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, right? We're pushing what? That new covenant, man. All right? So you can receive what? The remission of sins. That's why the words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, right? Trying to get you what? To receive pardon for your wickedness. But the lips of a fool will swallow up himself, man. <laughs> All right? We have uh, Psalms 86 and 15. But thou, O Lord, art full of compassion. Wait a minute. No, you ain't got no compassion. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion. Are no, you to demerge, I can Gnosticism. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion. See that? Don't Marcionism, man. The Lord is a, is a God of, of compassion, man. He's not to demerge in, in the Gnostic God, man. All right? That's not that's not our God, man. All right, to demerge. That's folly. This is the Lord power of God, full of compassion and gracious, long suffering. No, I, I, he quick to wrath. Long suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. See that? Lord be merciful to the beloveds, man. Okay. We have Psalms 112, verse 4. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. See that? The beloved is going to shine the light in the darkness for the upright. For the beloved is that what? Walk upright, meaning they walk in righteousness. All right? The light is going to arise in the darkness, right? When the beloved is going through the valley of the shadow of death and going through tribulation and evil. The Lord is going to shine his light on you, man. All right? Wisdom and knowledge shall keep you stable. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Lay up for yourself treasures which are in heaven, man. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness. He's full of compassion and righteousness, man. Not wicked. No, wickedness, Ak. He is gracious. No, Ak. He is, he is, uh, he is wrath only. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteousness, man. Okay, that's the Lord, man. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Is that it? We have Isaiah 30 and 19. This is prophecy. For the people shall dwell in Zion and Jerusalem. Thou shalt weep no more. No, I, 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 was, I, was, I was just crying. Thou shalt weep no more. He will be very gracious unto thee. <laughs> At the voice of thy cry. When he shall hear it, he will answer thee. See that? So, you know, the beloved ain't going to weep no more. But in the resurrection, we meet the Lord and go back home, man. All right, none of that weeping, man. All right, so yeah, man, the Lord always was uh, gracious, man, and merciful. Let's get some uh, mercy verses, man. I want to see some more mercy verses. All right, let's get a uh, Old Testament for you, Proverbs. 20 and 28, mercy and truth preserve the king. What? Mercy and truth preserve the king. No, the faith only. I, mercy and truth preserve the king, man. See that? You had to have mercy and truth, man. All right? Which all of this is all action. All right? Got to have some action in that thing, man. And his throne is upholding by mercy. All right? The Lord allowing you to rule. Psalms 123 verse 3. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have Psalms 109 verse 26. Help me, O Lord, my God. O save me according to thy mercy. See that? That's that grace even in the, uh, in the old, man. All right? In the old paths, man. 
We have Psalms 33, verse 22. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we hope in thee. All right, we have mercy in the Lord, man. Hey, we got Psalms 118, verse 3. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth ever. Yeah, because look, man, Aaron was helping build idols, man, at a point in time. Before the Lord fully took him out of that nonsense. Ooh, wait, Psalm 66, verse 20. Blessed be God, which have not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me, man. Heavy, man. All right, even in the book of Psalms, man. Ooh, we heavy. We have Psalms 119, verse 64. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. See that? The Lord could have destroyed this whole realm, man. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statues. No, nah, no, nah, beloved, don't teach me a goddamn thing. The earth, O Lord, is full of thy mercy. Teach me thy statues. <laughs> Okay, we have what? Psalms 136 verse 8. The sun to rule by day, for his mercy endure forever. Psalms 103 verse 8. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, plenteous in mercy. All right, so the Lord is very merciful, man. Let's see what else we got. I don't think I'm going to go too crazy. Let's see if I can get some more, some mercy verses in Proverbs. Because that's what I want. You know I like the Proverbs, man. The Proverbs go crazy. Let's get Proverbs on. Oh. Proverbs. I type. Proverbs, baby. Let's get mercy. I want to see some mercy verses in Proverbs. Give me a second. Give me a second, beloveds. Because I don't already was reading a lot of them in Psalms. Okay. Ooh, we. Psalms 136 and 23, which is heavy. Who remembered us in our lower state for his mercy endured forever? Only the beloved one remember us, man. All right. Who giveth, Psalms 136 and 25, who giveth food to all flesh for his mercy endured forever? The Lord allows everybody on this earth to eat, man. He's merciful, man. Psalms 136 and 26. Oh, give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy endure forever, man. Psalms 138, verse 8. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. No, I, don't be perfect. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. See that? The Lord said, be ye perfect. And no, I can't nobody perfect, brother. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the works of, of my own hands. Right? Meaning what? You have a sound mind, man. Pure heart. Let's see what else we got. We have uh, Proverbs 14, 21. He that despises his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor, happy is he. Okay? We have what? Proverbs 14, 22, do, do they not error that devise evil? See that? Those that devise evil, they error, man. They going off. The spirit of error. But mercy and truth, but what? But mercy and truth, man. You got to have uh, both, man. You have to have mercy with the truth. Shall be to them that devise good, man. And we know that. We know what is good, baby. We know what is good, baby. All right. <laughs> All right. We have Proverbs 14:31. He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him have mercy on the poor. See that? You even had beloveds have mercy on the poor, man. All right. Which is, is a proverb. All right. 16 and 6. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. See that? It's by mercy and the truth, man. But Nick, we is purged. All right, which that's that's the new covenant, man. All right, 
in these times, but in that in the ancient time, what it was by the Lord's mercy and, and you following his truth, man. All right. And by the fear of the Lord, man depart from evil. See that? That's that's the beginning of wisdom is to fear the Lord, man. All right. We have a uh, Proverbs 21, 21. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life. Righteousness and honor, man. Proverbs 28, 13. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. See that? You can't cover your sins, the scriptures say. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So we got to repent, man. So uh, shalom.